Happy Easter, everyone. Happy Easter. Uh, you, you probably just saw our uh, Mega 64 farewell tour trailer with all of its hell imagery, and mm. we thought that it'd be a counterbalance to all the Easter stuff today. Yeah. Our Blu-ray has risen. Yeah. That's true. It's out uh, very soon. Yes, this Friday. This, yeah. com- this Friday, April 5th. You, you guys, wait, Blu-ray. wide shot? Wide shot, Johnny? We have risen. We has risen. That's his sermon on the mount. We has risen, not he. Oh, because there's a multiple. There's, there's more dudes people than on the Blu-ray. Got it. Got it. Do you remember there was a point <laughs> in social media where everyone posted Happy Zombie Jesus Day? Yes. Uh, like you know that, what? There was like two years, I would say, where it was yeah. like, oh, I can't go online. You on started day. the phrase. Do you remember that point on the internet? And my mind went to. I thought you were going to say when everything was zombie, ninja, pirate, <laughs> cowboy, yeah. uh, alien, it, like yeah. It, and but that is right in line with that era too. It, it was, was yeah, yeah. It was I, everyone saying zombie Jesus day, and everyone was watching fucking epic rap battles of history. Uh, I would say it was even a little bit before that, maybe, but maybe not much. Yeah. I have a theory about the internet, and I'm yeah. glad I have a podcast to share it. Okay. My theory is is that the internet is growing up with us, and so that was in its like infantile, yes, you know, maybe like between seven to ten year old brain of like, yeah, these are the coolest things in the world. Yes. And Uh. now we move past that, and now we're just angsty and mad at everyone. Yeah. And we hate our parents and the opposite sex. Yeah, we hate Mm -hmm. our parents. Yeah. Um, they just don't just don't understand. Right. Right. Kind of thing. So that's what the internet. So in like. You know, a little bit. The internet's gonna, you know, be like twenty-one, and then like being like cool, again. yeah, mature. Cool, like yeah, it's mature. gonna get. A, it's gonna start drinking, and then <laughs> yeah, it's, gonna it's gonna get. Sick. It's gonna get a little loose. Yeah, little, once it gets into its like thirties, and it's like mature, it found its cooler internet, yeah. right? That'll be good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. But as of right now, I'm just seeing um a lot of dumb stuff and a lot of um yeah old people falling for AI right, like, which is look at this again. picture of the of the Easter Bunny uh, yeah. stabbing this kid at a oh. mall that that's AI that's not yeah. Oh. Speaking of people falling for AI, a couple weeks ago there was that big story in Glasgow of a Willy Wonka uh, themed yeah. event. Yeah, I feel like. The people who showed up with their kids to buy those tickets yeah. are the idiots. I have and no deserve idea. to have their what money are you taken talking from about. Them. You I didn't no hear about that? No, no. We, oh, this well, was. It yeah. looked. The reason I feel this way, I'll just say, is because the promotional imagery that yeah. they bought the website, you know, that they bought the tickets on the website from, was so clearly all doctored up AI it, bullshit. It was AI like psychedelic mushrooms and stuff. So it's like. I, well, it's not gonna look. It's like not gonna that. look like that. Clearly, yeah. it's not gonna look like that. The, you didn't hear about this. Sean? This was huge. Catch this me was, up. This was like okay. the biggest thing on the internet. Don't just keep saying I haven't heard it. I know I haven't heard it. Tell it me. Was, it was in England. It was over in they, Scotland. Oh, Scotland. It was yeah. Glasgow. That's and right. And they said uh, Willy Wonka experience. Buy tickets now. And they showed pictures. And it's all AI. Like picture running, uh, writing Willy Wonka factory in AI. And it would be like exaggerated big yeah. mushrooms and trippy stuff. Okay. And candy. Uh-huh. You know how we went to that museum and it was like an art installation museum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's pitched by a collective that does that kind of that supposedly makes that kind of uh, experiences. Yes. Yeah, so and this is their latest one. It, uh, it was just a big empty warehouse with a bunch of little like props they made. Like posters like, on like, the wall. Like you you go in, it's curtained off and you go in, there's nothing here. It's like a Willy Wonka uh like foam like chocolate bar in the corner. Uh, oh, and they got an actor to play Willy Wonka who might have had a sex offender record or something. What? And there's tons of children at this event and then he's there's clips that are just like the worst. It's like if you uh, did a haunted house in your garage. When did this happen? You haven't heard anything about this. A couple, few weeks ago? Yeah, I don't know. Something oh. at the beginning of the month? Yeah, maybe? I missed that. Missed um, there was uh, a car- There was someone, uh, the, the thing that people really gravitated towards was they had a mirror that it was just a normal mirror you buy at the store. <laughs> yeah. And then from behind it, there was a cloaked person with a like picture of ski dance. Okay. Mask. Yeah, White. Yeah. They came out from behind the mirror like, Oh no! It's and, the end. And they said it's the unknown. <laughs> the unknown. Yeah. Okay. It's like is that a character? Is that a, <laughs> is that a Wonka character? It's a dude in a black trench coat with like a. <laughs> it ended up being a girl. It was like it, oh, was, it was like a sixteen year old girl. <laughs> so like, how did she's like get... hello? Yeah, I played the unknown. So, pe- so people spent money on this thing. Yeah, it was like fifty bucks <laughs> yeah. to go. 
And then people who ran it just took the money and ran? Is that why? No. Why is it in the news? Because they actually got the police called on them. It was yeah. so bad of an experience. <laughs> yeah, people were like, we, we've been like, we've robbed. been robbed. Like, this yeah. is not correct. So this can't be real. On the first day, like tons of people, I guess, complained so loudly that the local authorities came and like shut it down. And then it was like the news trucks came. And I really particularly like a still image of an Oompa Loompa. It's like a a young girl like painted up with an orange wig and she just looks super frumpy at a table of like Bunsen burners. <laughs> yeah, she looks really bummed out. And they would give out like the kids would get like one jelly bean. She's sure. like, what? <laughs> worse Dude, than this the Shack, awesome. Shack I Toberfest. I'm going to take my kids. Uh, but theme song. Welcome back. Uh, I do want to um, just bring something up real quick. I got an email and uh, I Hell wanted yeah, to, me too. Nice. I wanted to bring this up. Uh, I can't remember the last time I got an email from the alien ant farm mailing list. Oh my God. <laughs> but I just did 9 a.m. today wow. yeah. that alien ant farm has a new single out oh. uh, called Last Dance. Now you're thinking, oh, last da-. it's spelled lowercase d capital A. N T Z. Oh, Dan. Last da- Ants. Dan. And it's oh, from ants. their new album, Ma- Antras. Mantras? Out on April 26th. Oh, and they ants. are kicking off a tour. We got a full Alien Ant Farm update it here, seems dude. like Alien Ant Farm got you to plug them without them. Hey, doing it that. worked. This email could not have gone better for Alien Ant Farm. Underrated, underrated band, guys. If all you heard is Smooth Criminal, you, 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 you played yourself. Because uh, they had a great album. They did Up in the Attic was like underrated album. And there's going to be like two diehard fans that are like, whoa, Rocco's bringing up some deep cut shit here. But yeah, I'm not yeah. messing around. Are you going to go to the tour? Uh, they're not doing like LA or San Diego, I, but they're doing some casino in uh, Highland, California. I, I might that. make the trip. Where's Highland, California? I don't know. I've never, I don't, it's I don't know yeah, is. weird area. I don't know. It's and like also it's the same night as something else I have tickets for. So uh, that uh, probably isn't happening. Well, but you if the they only, come around. You're the only person I know that like knows anything about Alien Ant Farm. Not even the fact that you like them and listen to them. But yeah. I don't know anyone who knows anything other than the Michael Jackson cover. Uh, yeah, I was at one point part of the Ant Farm. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, they really actually I really think uh, I mean, you're you're being honest like you like the band i really did uh yeah. you know they're they're the last album that i heard from them was like you know 2006 but sure. I, back then i really really liked it and i thought uh i always thought they were underrated they they had an album what was it i think it was called the one before that was called true truant truant you can say whatever you want and i'll believe you yeah, yeah. It looked, <laughs> but they made it look like an old uh, school binder you know whatever and uh it came out on some big label right as they closed Oof. And then that they had a. Uh, do you guys remember the bus accident they were in? No, no. Uh, it, they, they released this album, their follow up album to the one that had Smooth Criminal and stuff on it. They got released uh, when this label was closing, and they had a tour bus accident they were in. I forget what country, but Hi. they turned a corner and some car took out half the. I think the bus driver died. Oh my god. And then they all the band lived, but they were all like they were all like in wheelchairs after that. Uh, oh, event that's and terrible. Took a year, a year or two to heal. So like this, this was like prime time, and they were. It was like, yeah, can't, can't go anywhere it. or do yeah. anything. Okay, so uh, uh, they 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 got a shit end of the stick on that one. But Amy, are you okay? They're back. <laughs> it's terrible. They're back. <clears throat> you turned me on to that video they shot above the BET Awards. Yes, red carpet, and that premise and that video is hilarious. Yeah, they had a, a song called "These Days." If you never saw the music video for it, yeah, they they're doing the BET Awards in LA, and they just played. They just went on the roof of the building across the street and played that song live. And the whole video is them playing the song and people at the red carpet just reacting to them, like. <laughs> that's it that's the whole video and I was, it was like great it was so good and they and they get their uh what they get what the beatles wanted with their rooftop they concert arrested? they get the police just yeah. like shut this down it's amazing take this down you know so 
Yeah. I remember when I heard that about the Beatles, that made me like them 10 times more. When it was like, I got real Mega 64 energy from hearing that like, oh, they played on the roof and they were they were dying to get the footage of the police dragging him off the, you know, whatever. I was like, all right, yeah, respect. Okay. Respect, yeah. Respect. And then when you see when you see uh, the concert film, like like it's in Peter Jackson's documentary and all that stuff they did, and um, mm-hmm. the police do come to the bottom floor and the dudes filming are handle it the same way we would ignore them where no they're going <laughs> cool i don't what they're going while well, you feel while well, you filming oh i'm not i'm filming you know i film just filming the buildings you know and i don't know what's i don't know they, they started playing and i just i had the camera i was like oh check this out okay i'm filming you know they're like <laughs> yeah there's well, something well, happened we'll turn the camera on well it's not thing. it's not even on the film I'm, I'm i'm cleaning the film it's not even um actually re- it's not even recording well what's that light that's the off light that's the bu- i mean it's like they're <laughs> it's saying the same, the same shit we would do <laughs> that's awesome oh man that was that was so good that's roll so anyway that rolls I'm glad we were talking about Willy Wonka earlier because Willy Wonka did become, it's kind of weird. It kind of became an Easter tradition. Um, That was how it, from what I understand, I think that's kind of how it blew up was the original Willy Wonka movie did not do well in theaters. And then they replayed it on TV around Easter. Easter. Because it's candy themed. I guess so. I, you know. And then it kind of got a little bit of cult following and then home video and stuff like that. So it was appropriate we're bringing it up because it is Easter Sunday. It truly is. Big Easter plans, you know, but no plans are bigger than, you know, no offense to our, man, our J, you know, buddy J-Man out there. But mm-hmm, mm-hmm. James we Cameron. Uh, are releasing our first game, Doug Huggum. This is a game that's been in the works for 13 years. Hard to believe. Um, at this point, though, I'm sure most of you have heard the news. We are going to take one more day just to finish our polish on this game. But it is a real game. I mean, a lot of people are going, oh, what's the joke? They're, they're going, yeah. This is a thing you will play. Yeah. You, you play. will play Doug Huggum. Yeah, we just will. need one day. We we don't want to send you a day yeah. one patch. Let's just get yeah. the whole thing done. Yeah. You know, and we you only have one day. the play date so many times. We couldn't yes. be the same. We couldn't like. Oh, True. we can't play it. Yeah. Sorry. So we're going to just give us that. Yes. a second. We'll yep. figure it out. And we're, yeah, we've gotten gold, baby. Yes. Is that the term you use? <laughs> it will be. Yeah, it, it is essentially gone. I mean, it's playable right now, but it's not to the level the, of per, of like perfect that it yeah. could be. But this is a game you will play. We're not joking about that. Um, You'll be able to play it uh, on your computer. We're still working on if other platforms are possible, but. It's totally free, totally free to play <laughs> as a thank you for your patience. But if you like it, you will be able to get there is um, official merchandise. We are yeah. putting that out. If you want to show support, um, you can pick up any of that stuff. You'll definitely be uh, it'll definitely be appreciated. But the game itself, that's free to play. None of this DLC battle pass stuff. We're doing it. Um, we should try to do, do it right. What Radiohead did in uh, for In Rainbows. Do you remember oh, yeah. that whole pay thing? what you want kind of? Yeah, thing? Like I, was if, all, I was like over them by that album. But oh really? It was a pay what uh, you want album. Yeah, so they yeah. put it out for free, and next to it, it's like it's here. It is free. You can pay whatever, whatever you want. Okay, for this Nine album. Inch Nails so did you that could, too. You could pay. Yeah. They started. Radiohead started it. Please. I know, I know. I'm just I don't. I, don't I actually fuck. don't know. I thought. I see. I when I remember when the radio with the head thing happened, and I was like, I, I feel like I thought like, didn't another band do this? I feel like they did it at the same first. I don't know though. I can't remember. I think they did it at the same time. It was right around friends. the same time. I can see them hanging. I, oh yeah. yeah. Think, why not? Tom and Tom and, and Trent. Trent. But but Radiohead was definitely the one that made news. Yeah. So yeah. but yeah. So they you pay what you want. So you could pay nothing, no problem, or you could pay a hundred dollars if you wanted to. If you liked it that yeah. much. We should do that. It's so like, funny. It's because, free. If you want to pay us for it, you can, though. I love that model. I mean, that is the band camp model. And it's um, crazy how it's taken off from that inception of Radiohead yeah. doing it. It's like, it, that's a whole lane for independent artists now. Is like, band camp is that. There's definitely single songs I've bought on band camp. And I was like, oh, I'm going to put this in a video, you know, or something. And then I'm like, well, I'm putting it in a video. You know what? I'll give them. It's like, oh, okay, cool. the, the, the song is $1.29. You know what? I'm going to give you 10 bucks. I've cool. done that. That's cool. I don't know if I've done that for an album. Like, I'll pay more for the album. Yeah. Like, typically, it's like, oh, I'm full price for the album. I'm good. I think. When Nine Inch Nails but, but did it. But if it's like a small thing that I really like, you know, yeah, yeah. maybe a few more bucks. I can't remember what album it was, but when, when Nine Inch Nails did it, I paid 
I think what the re I was like, I'm not gonna take it for one cent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some but I'm not giving a hundred bucks. But you can though. That's the thing. But you like, could. They said you can. And I think I sp- I think I went like, well, what would it retail <laughs> at if I went to go like buy this attorney? I'm gonna give them 19.99. And yeah. here's <laughs> like, the, I, I, here's the genius of it all. It's weird. It, it entered in a that. morality in yeah. Me. And a lot of times back then, especially people just illegally download it. But then yeah. everyone's like, well, no, That's why, why would I download this. it illegally when I can get a, le- a legit copy? For free, but I'm already here, and they did give it to me for free. I might as well give them a couple bucks. I'm already signed into PayPal. Hey, I think about this all the time. I was telling Johnny about it the other day. I remember when the Tenacious D movie came out, and they put... Johnny and I just rewatched it the other day. I don't know why. No, no, no. They did a promo online. They did a promo video where they were uh, Tenacious D time fixers. Okay. (laughs) Where they went back in time to like, okay, oh, Lincoln's going to get shot, but they're messing with them. You know, if he doesn't get shot, the world won't be, you know, bad. Yeah, the the, the world's going to get screwed up. So you better go and make sure he gets shot you know, or <laughs> okay. whatever kind of thing. It's Michael Keaton telling them this. And then oh, they wow. go back, which, by the way, at the time, I didn't know who anyone was. So we watch it and it's like uh, a dude in the audience watching them play is uh, uh, Dan Harmon. Oh, and then Abe Lincoln wow. is played by fucking Justin Roiland from Rick and Morty. Oh, geez. Um, so everyone's in it. Yeah, everyone's in it. But anyway. When you got that video on, I, I remember you could download it for free on iTunes in their music video department. It was the one one of the free ones, mm. even though it wasn't really a music video. And when you downloaded it at the end, it would say, if you want more Tenacious D, they're here on iTunes. And then it, the logo came up and it said, iTunes, easier than stealing, almost as cheap. <laughs> and I remember that, that always made me laugh. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's like, if you make it easy, people will just do it. Yeah. And uh, um. I guess that's our mentality with our Doug Huggum game. You know, you'll be able to just go and play it in two seconds, you know, and yeah. then if you really like it, you kick us something. Yeah, you, you know? go to the shop that I'm, make a 64. Um, I'm not, we, uh, we did not talk about this beforehand, but I am not against like, hey, you want to pay for the game? If you want to pay for it, here's a link. You yeah, can. That's it's, a, you know. it's free, though. It is free. Yeah. Uh, I remember when that Radiohead thing happened. Mm. I felt like I heard two sides to the story on that when it came to like, People use that to fit their narrative with, like, was that a success or not? Because no. I remember hearing, like, oh, they made, like, millions off that. Sure. There were fans that paid, like, yo, I, Radiohead, yeah, 80 bucks. I love yeah. Radiohead. Wow. There were fans that did that. You know, obviously, a lot of them did do a penny. But I remember hearing, oh, that ended up being, like, one of music's biggest successes when they did that. And then there were other people that were, like, oh, they, yeah, they, uh, they couldn't sell, you know, their sales weren't that high. So, you know, it was they weren't losing anything by doing that and they didn't make that much. It was like, can we, is there a consensus on if that was a hit or not? Like, I think, uh, that album is critically acclaimed. Like it's it's in my, the top 500 book. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. So I think that it's, uh, it's definitely, I mean, it's a legendary album at this point. It's been radio fans loved it. My sister loved it when it came out. Yeah. 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 You haven't heard that one? No, I, I got out after like kid a, the yeah, because Kid A didn't hit as hard as OK Computer for me, and that's uh, that's when I was like, all right, I'm good. I think uh-huh. I listened to both of those, and that's it. I think that those are the only Radiohead things I've heard. Yeah, mm-hmm. Kid A and OK Computer, as far as I know. Dude, I you never have a little thing that happened. It's like, oh, this you can't correct the situation, but like it's like let's just I just think about it all the time. We were at on tour, mm. Mm. and then Jay and I were talking about Smashing Pumpkins earlier in the day, and I was saying I was going to go to the concert with my dad, and I was all excited whatever. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then, at one point, for some reason, he we were loading in boxes. This was in San Francisco, and he was like, you like a door? I was like, what? He's like, you like a door? I'm like, what about it? A door? <laughs> what? I'm like, look at the van. I'm like, what the You're fuck? Like, what the door? He's like, I thought you were a Smashing Pumpkins fan. Are you, what is, you don't even know what the, you know the, the album, A Door? I'm like, they're talking about a door, not a door. Uh, uh, well, you bring it up hours later out of context. And it's like, confusing. I never corrected him because it was like such a, like, I didn't know what was happening. And then he was gone, like getting the next box. Like, uh, oh, the fucking out. Al- what? <laughs> don't this. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Just text that, him right now. Jay, I know, I know the door. album. I know. Jay, I know it. Isn't it the worst, though, when you ask somebody to repeat what they said? And, and it you still have makes to, no you sense. You have to go for like a fourth time. And yeah. it's like, I. I have to stop. There are sometimes I'll tell people that I'll be like, "Hey, that happens with Trish and I a lot." Oh, really? 
Yeah, because she's got slang for stuff, and I don't understand. Yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah. it's me anyway. So, um, I, and I, yeah, on the fourth time, I'm like, hey, I, you have to re explain it a different also when you ask for more explanation they just repeat the same thing well, that's yeah. a problem for, <laughs> for me it's i'm just talking about like actually like audio levels like you can't hear like oh yeah i got the door i'm sorry what oh when you got the door i one more time no no no, 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 no. i i can't do it three i can't do oh I, they're I'm quiet like, I, they're too quiet yeah or something like that you know that happens sometimes that happened to me a couple times at pax we'll talk we'll talk about pax obviously oh, we got sure. back from that for but sure. that happened to me a couple times this last weekend sometimes people come by i i am i love makes me more in the toll and of the, every their turnaround and all around yeah well, uh sorry what, what was that last thing the turn around everyone to, to, you guys are around <laughs> I'm sorry. What? What? And then after once it once I need it a third time, I that's a uh, well. I'll just go like cool. right on. Well, you know, got everybody got to punch that punch time that clock. Time clock. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think uh, I'm always I'm I'm fine to ask for the second time, but I get scared yeah. for yeah. the third time. Yeah, like, third is like oh no, uh, this isn't working. I'm so sorry. John, what are you saying? But, but realistically, like Jay on the third, like I don't know what you're saying. He just kept going adore. No, I just kept adore. Like, I, I know. Just, I, I kept, fucking hate that guy. You gotta go. Like, yeah, I do. Too. <laughs> don't like, get me wrong. Like, no, I just kept you saying know, like, more tours. I don't know. I don't. But that's why I thought he was saying a door. Exactly. And then I'm like, I don't know what you want me to say about this door that I'm next to here. And, and that's why on the third time that someone can't understand you, you should not just repeat the thing a fourth yeah, time. Yeah, you should yeah, go yeah. like, sorry. Earlier, we were talking about the Smashing Pumpkins. I'm referring to the album that they did that the title is Adore. And then I go, oh. oh. But oh. a lot of times when you're like, wait, what? I still didn't catch that. They just repeat <laughs> the, the the word you don't yeah. understand. Yeah, again. but now he thinks I'm a fucking Smashing Pumpkins poser. Yeah. Hey, I'm Johnny. Poser. Uh, at PAX, didn't this happen to us? There was someone we met. You know, let's not give away who. But was, there was someone we met. I want to say maybe we were excited to meet. The, I don't know. But I think they came by our booth or something. And you and I had that conversation where they literally they walked away and we were like, I didn't get any of that. Like, they, <laughs> do you remember? Uh, no, I don't actually. I'm sorry. Oh, man. Oh, man. There, there was someone that I remember they spoke at the booth. Yeah, I can't say who. <laughs> there, there was a relatively bigger yeah like oh cool and they said something and then it was like hey well you know huh? and they left and it was like yeah i i can't repeat one thing they just said yeah <laughs> natsuya 51 was talking to you had no idea what oh he was saying. no you gave it gave it away it was the accent did you actually actually talk to the suda 51 i saw him on the way to a media interview in a hallway mm -hmm. it was like oh hey gone uh, that was it. Yeah, I think he was very busy at PAX. I, yeah. uh, the the what what I had heard was that he was like being pulled everywhere. I'm sure. Um, I will say I haven't been to PAX East in so long. I had the best time. I had a great yeah. I had a really time. good time this yeah. year. Absolutely. Yeah. And you know it was Garrett. You weren't there. I had you FOMO were, watching all your you Instagram missed. stories for Keep, sure. You yeah. were missed for sure. But uh, I will say like. It was a I everything about it. Everyone was so nice. Yeah, you know we've had so many complaints about the booths over the years, but I have no complaints. Like everyone at the booth was super chill and nice and happy to see us. And it was I don't know. It was great. I don't know. It's just, cool. It was a fun, fun, fun convention. And I felt like maybe the booth situation for like what the exhibitors were showing, like Nintendo's booth, like I what what it was like a Pokemon thing. I don't even know what it was to be honest with you. Mm. But like, I felt like the crowd was there, and the crowd was back to the old PAX pre-COVID. I think there was a lot of PAX this year that was, you know, maybe not stuff that you or I knew about, but Probably. I think there was a lot, and especially especially if you're into tabletop stuff. That, yeah, there PAX was a East lot of is, stuff happening. Oh, for sure. I just, um, I mean, I'm thinking back back in the day, like back in the day when it was like, here's the Xbox Pavilion and the Sony mm -hmm. shit, and like, and that wasn't really there yeah. right now. I think it's yeah, but back. Xbox w is nowhere right now. Well, that's, <laughs> I don't, that's true. That's the thing. That's the video game industry thing. Yeah, yeah that's, that's true. true. Hey, industry speaking one. of that, not to not to derail from this or anything, but there there was literally an article yesterday that, um, what was it? Was it? I think it was leaving GDC. There was a lot of um, anonymous sources from GDC saying like all these publishers are 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 like 
behind the scenes going, uh, hey, why are we developing for Xbox? Like, why are we doing that? Uh, mm. You know, like they have to make a different version of the game that not only runs on. So you have like the current. I promise we'll go back to back to packs. I just want to yeah. say this before I forget. There are, are uh, you know, you make like the modern day version of a game. So you have um, it, that, you know, a version that runs on PS5 and then what is the new Xbox? Xbox I, Series I, X. See, you, you couldn't even tell. Series X. The fucking problem yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> but you have what Series X. But then there's Series S. Remember, uh, there's a lesser version of yo. it. Yes. And they have to make another version of the game that also runs on that. They have to, you know, crank everything oh down so it runs on that. And I think that's the big sticking point where they're going like, we're making multiple versions and and we're not seeing the return on that. And also Xbox, I think, is emphasizing their Game Pass less. Like, like that's that's been one of their selling points. Oh, that right. Game Pass thing is awesome. But now I'm hearing they're starting to not prioritize that as much. So, uh, yeah, there was a lot of weird rumors about like their future, what's going on in their future and stuff like that. But there is a new model Xbox that there, people are leaking pictures of. So oh, that was called Xbox One X <laughs> Series Y. So it's uh, it's going to be called Kyle, Kyle XY. XY. Yeah. Kyle XY. There's no belly button. This, yeah, this uh, this There's no power this, button. This system has no HDMI port. <laughs> and they show the cover is just, just a picture of it I, the whole time. Yeah. I anyway. I don't know how many people are getting paid so much money to come up with the name Xbox Series S and Series X. And it's like, yo, just call it something easy that people who, like us, who work in this industry, you know, we, we play fucking games. We talk about video games every week. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know what the fuck the new Xbox is called. Yeah. That is a problem. Even Nintendo, oh. who makes a name up, a Wii, you know, it's like, yeah, all right, it was forgetting that. awkward at first, but we all got used to it in six months. Call yeah. it asparagus. And I now you know what a Wii is. I'll know what it is then. And I'll know oh, the new one is called asparagus. I know that. Uh, they always, ha it's funny because they always have code names for their systems that stick around. Yeah. Uh, Project Scarlet. It was like, whoa, Project Scarlet. What's that going to be? And then they come out with the name, and it's like, oh, I still project. Just if you would have just called the new system Scarlet, I would have remembered that. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, it's so. Uh, but anyway, back to PAX though. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was cool. It it really felt like it was back in action this year in a way that it hadn't the last couple of years. You know, the last couple of years there were still things with masks, mask requirements, and other stuff uh, that might have made it hard for people to get in, or, or uh, you know, some people didn't didn't you know want to go to a a big event still. Um, and I feel like this year the crowd really came out, and um, it was super positive. I left the event like rejuvenated. Me too. Like, everybody I talked to was so cool, and uh, but but even I will say even years and years ago, PAX East, I always really liked the community aspect <laughs> the most. Like. Packs in Seattle, I would go to for like, oh, they're going to have like the new Nintendo game. They're going to, this is going to be playable or that. Right. Like I would go more for the big blockbuster game, but I always felt like PAX East was better for the like more indie stuff and more, and the community felt really like energized. And I definitely felt that this year. Yeah. Um, they, I always felt like they were so happy to see you in Boston. Yeah. Like yeah. everyone from the East Coast, yes. like, thank you for coming. That was thank what you. originally, it, it, even when we did the first PAX East, that was the feeling I got. It's like, oh, people were stoked that we came out here. Yeah. And I felt that again all mm -hmm. these years later. So that was really, really cool. And uh, our panel went really good. Our panel, <laughs> I, I told them before when we did that, it was like, to me, it was the perfect ratio of everything where it was like, we had like a new kind of like intro video that played really well. Immediately showed a new video, which right. you'll, people at home still haven't seen, but hopefully you'll see that if you're watching this on YouTube, maybe tomorrow. No, it'd be a Wednesday, um, right? Yeah, if it goes on YouTube, it'll be tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Um, so, it, you know, new video. Then we showed a, a, a Plumbers Don't Wear Ties video that was, you know, in case you missed this, check this out. That went over well. Then we showed some stuff that we made. An, we announced stuff. We talked about our new our new tour Bully Ray coming out. And then uh, we we talked about some stuff we can't talk about online. We shared some story secret stories about something. Exclusive. You know, I, I always love a certain percentage of it to be like, you'll never see this on the Internet. Yeah, okay, that's... great. You know. I felt like the percentage of everything was like, ah, just <clears> right. <throat> just the, and then a little bit of Q and A, like, you know, 15, 20 minutes Q and A. 
you know, just the right amount. I feel like everything was just the right amount. It's mm-hmm. awesome. Everything went great this year. Yeah. Um, I I would say like the only thing that I hate about PAX East is the fucking flights there. It's too. <laughs> yeah. I I don't like flying, but like it's just so long. It's just a lot. Getting I mean, our merch in's a little tough sometimes. No, oh, 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 that was a whole other thing. Like, thank God for Totalverse. But like, no, I'm. It, it was just like. Uh, <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm all over the place. The the U-Haul situation was fucking terrible. Like there was parts of it that sucked, but that has nothing to do with the convention center. It's just like I was doing things outside of the convention center. Yeah, yeah. When it's always I was, kind of a hard time to get all of your merch across the country. That's just I mean, a it's, it's a pain in the ass. It's a pain in the it's ass. It's really hard. Yeah. But uh there's something that happened on the plane that's so stupid. But we were um flying. I have a thing where one time Rock on if you remember this, we were flying to Vegas and I started choking, not like choking, oh. choking, but like coughing and I couldn't catch my breath. When you're taking off, and oh, okay. I couldn't get a drink, oh. and I was just like, not. I was like, just kept coughing, and some lady next to me like gave me a, a cough inch? drop, yeah, yeah, and it, it did help me. But I was like, I it was like 15 minutes, so like, and they're pushing the call button, like, hey, this guy needs help, and I was like, oh, I'm, I'm fine, <coughs> whatever, like being a fucking monster, and it was just terrible. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm never doing that again. I'm always gonna have a beverage or something with yeah. me, yeah. So I just have like, my, you know, my my water bottle, and then I dump it out and I fill it back up in the terminal. On this fucking flight from San Diego to Boston, I have my little water bottle and I opened the little straw thing. It wasn't carbonated, but the pressure changed so much. Oh. It was like one of those clown flowers, like, <laughs> like water, like so far up my what? nose and in my face. It was like a fucking joke. Oh my God. When you opened the straw, the straw, it's like exploded water in my face. Yeah. Johnny looks over me. I'm like soaking wet, like. <laughs> What the fuck? And then so there's a guy next to Johnny sleeping, and we have to wake him up so I can go dry off in the fucking bathroom. Oh shit! What the fuck, dude? It was so. And I learned don't fill up the water bottle so much. But I told yeah. Johnny, I'm like, yo, Johnny, am I the only person this shit happens to? Like, I have the weird shit with like me breathing outside of Costco, and the guy hears me, and then like I feel like this kind of stuff happens to me wherever I go. You're there's like a Truman Show camera. Hey, I, I don't crew know. Following you this, around. <laughs> I think we ha- we invite different energies, uh, Sean, because you you have things like that. How 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 would you describe those things? Oh, you though? manifest <laughs> that by the energy you put out. How do universe. I manifest water blowing up my face on a plane? Like, how do I manifest that? You you, you, ma- know? you manifest like these w- stupid inconveniences that happen that are yeah. just like cool. Thanks. You manifest those, and I manifest like the awkward. Uh, well, I'm trying to again trying to think of the best way to describe these because I have one to share in a minute Mm -hmm. where it's like you why would this guy ever say that to another human being well Rocco was there so they said it okay you know what I mean like (laughs) yeah uh, okay different different things on uh uh same same manifestations different ends of the spectrum kind of sure Yours are more like, why the fuck would this happen? And on mine, it's why the fuck would someone say that? They didn't say that. No, they did. Oh, of course they would say that to Rocco. Mm. <laughs> that's that's the impression I get. Yeah, Johnny was like, maybe it's because you always like tell the stories like on the podcast that it just seems like it happens to you more, but it happens to everybody. I think it's yeah. me. I think it's me. I think I just yeah somehow invited in. But again, I'm inviting like the weirdest shit where it's like, who would have known that this was going to happen? Yeah, I've opened that same water bottle on so many planes. That's never once happened to me. Why would it happen? Maybe this you time? opened so, it later in the flight this time than you normally do, so you had more altitude on you. Yeah, I, I was, I was back in the bathroom with the paper towel, and I, I was like, oh, like I pissed I myself. Just stayed I was there. Uh, soaked. I was dripping wet. I would have so, just hoped in four hours I would have <laughs> evaporated all of that. Um, the that ha- the, that was on the flight there. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, we flew in separate. They flew in earlier in the day. I took a red eye. I've learned that uh, when I go to the East Coast, I really like red eye flights because I don't go to bed before like 3 or 4 a.m. anyway, ever. So like, oh, okay, you fly in, you get in at 3. Well, okay, that's like midnight our time. I don't care. Like, no skin off my nose. And then the airport is like dead at that point. Mm -hmm. So you know what I mean? You're not dealing with all that morning stuff. It's just like... Yeah, I'm the only one here, and um, you sleep anyway. On yeah, the flight. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so it's not a big deal. So uh, I did that, and it ended up being a kind of a packed flight, actually. Um, and found out the hard way. So I took I took a JetBlue flight in, and found out the hard way that the pouches on JetBlue flights aren't sealed at the bottom. 
How is that? Po- what what was the point of the pouch? Yeah, really. I don't know. You mean so? It's um, like there's, there's got to be some part that's sealed. There up. is a strip across the bottom for the Do you magazine. Know what I mean? Oh, for the magazine. Yeah, so it'll hold like their yeah, documents. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's it. Well, it's like. I mean, if you sealed it at the bottom, this could do uh, everything. But I guess all you care about is your magazine that <laughs> is in the seat. Um, magazines, man, they're still great. Um, but anyway, so didn't know that. I sat down on the plane, you know, tired. I slept for a little bit. Um, then I was like, you know what? All right, I'm going to watch a movie, dude. I had the Apple Vision Pro on the plane. Oh, it was awesome. Um, Sean and I flew back home together. Yeah. Yeah. So he got to see. He was sitting there all jealous. Oh, I'm so like, jealous! I'm on. I'm. 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 I got Pandora over here. I got World War II over here. I'm like <laughs> the best and the worst of you know humanity. It, yeah, it's a weird thing to see Rocco on the the plane with the Vision Pro because imagine I'm gonna do a side profile here, but it's like the seat in front of him is like this, like right in his face, and he's just looking straight at it and just typing. <laughs> With like nothing, with a wall, uh, with a wall. I was doing. I was. I was uh, writing up stuff for. Uh, literally, I was writing up stuff for the Doug Huggum, uh, you know, like release yeah. or whatever. I was writing stuff up for it. Cool. And it was so much easier doing it on there than you know, because when you open your laptop on the tray table, it's like, oh, the guy leaned back, so I got to Oh, the screen is hitting the back of there. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. This, uh, this has all the same. It's a computer. Oh, so yeah. I mean, I'm opening the the Apple uh, email application. It's right there. I'm just. Yeah, and then I've got you know Mad Men playing over there. I've got over here. I've got you know whatever anti websites, always. and I'm going yeah. like you know like that. It was awesome. Yeah, anyway. I mean it looked cool. This the, the flight attendant was like, "What the fuck?" I think that was the first one she saw in the wild. Really? Mm. Yeah, she seemed pretty impressed. She's like, "I can't believe it wasn't." She in was first like, class. "On my plane in coach? wow. Yeah, <laughs> here's a seat for you, sir. Yeah. It's a fun." Oh, I want to say thank you because you took that uh, really flattering picture of me. <laughs> On the plane, You're and welcome. I finally posted it. Oh yeah, with all all my hentai iOS games just work, and that that's doing numbers. Oh good, so thank that's you good. again. Oh, but anyway, uh, so I I put that on <laughs> on the on the flight there, and put AirPods in, watching a movie, fell asleep for a little bit. And by the way, falling asleep with that thing on is amazing too, because you could just go in. You know what? Like it helps you. It's like uh, it's yeah, I mean yeah, let's go to Yosemite at night. You oh, know, okay. sleep under the stars. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, that's cool. Anyway. Then I go to get where's where am I where's my AirPods case where's all my stuff oh there's no bottom to this pouch so this is all falling out okay great so I ha- fortunately I have a newer AirPods case that has it the new ones have a speaker on them where yeah. you can ring them like an alarm because people kept losing their AirPods case yeah uh-huh. I mean and they have a thing like you know activate your AirPods and like inside the case you can't really hear you that can't though. hear you them hear they're the kind case. of muffled. yeah it's yeah. useless that was a useless was feature useless, yeah. but yeah. this thing has an alarm and they track like a like a like air tags you know yeah. or like a tile or whatever you can track them oh so you can find wherever it's slid around to yes. in the plane so uh well it's a little more general you know it's like what address are they at kind oh, of thing. Gotcha, a little gotcha. more you know whatever but i could ring the alarm i'm like okay it'll be so uh, I wish i could have brought it so you could hear the noise it rings uh to quote garrett louder than the bells of jesus <laughs> So I'm like, damn, a lot of people sleeping on this flight. Oh, ding, ding, oh, ding, ding, I'm just going to ring it ding, as ding, quick ding, as I can. Oh, I'm, ju- I'm just going to go like this, like, dip, dip, you know? <laughs> yeah. And I do it. And <laughs> oh, that would give me a, if that came from underneath my seat and I was sleeping, it would give me a fucking heart attack. <laughs> Didn't wake anybody up. I did it quick enough. <laughs> it's behind you. That thing is in the oh, no. back of the fucking plane. Oh, oh. Like, are you kidding me? Oh, my God. So a little time goes by. I'm like, fuck, how do I get my case back? I got an engraved case with my face on it. Dude. Oh, your yeah, face yeah. Well, it's on uh, my a- uh, an emoji. An emoji. Well, so yeah, it's me going like that. <laughs> so I'm like, I got to get that back. All right, wait a little bit. Oh, anyone drinks? No, it's okay. Okay, they're gone. I'm going to get Okay, I'm going to have to wait till the flight's over. There's no way I can get that. So I wait. The plane lands. And I, and I start looking at everyone in the back of the plane. Hey, uh. Anybody see an AirPods case? But the people on this plane are zombies. Well, they just woke Anybody? Up. And they're all going. Anybody? AirPods case? <laughs> no, no one. No one. AirPods case. Anybody? AirPods case. And then another staff member. I'm going to say he's probably like our age. Yeah. Dude, uh, dude work in the airline is like, it joins in. Let Anybody me help see you. see an AirPods case, this gentleman? I'm like, yeah. It's got my face on it. So I can't, can't miss it. Yeah. Okay. You can so still I'm like, hear all right, it. I'm just going to keep ringing it now. 
it's still in the oh. back of the plate. Nobody sees that. No one can hear that. So, they, so I'm noise? like, okay, I'll let them off, and then I'll go search her. It's moving. Someone's got them. Oh, so and so <laughs> there's people walking down the aisle, oh, and no. it's in their stuff. It's like, bro, and then the the cast, the, the staff member on the plane is just like, ma'am, 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 AirPods, AirPods. <laughs> She's walking out of the plane, and he's like, they're they're in her bag. Like I yeah. heard them ringing. I see she has a green bag. I see them in the pocket. Like it's got your hat on it. Like I know they're your. Like, the, but the, she stopped. The flight attendant yeah. said this to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. And then someone on the plane did some this thing. I, I my biggest pet peeve, I will say, mm -hmm. is when someone joins in the conversation and it it's wasn't. like, oh, you're like 10 steps behind. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Like you tried to, you know what I mean? Yeah. So like this other person working on the plane, she she jumps in, um, sir, about your AirPods case. I'm like, oh, cool. Did you get them? Well, sometimes things slide to the front of the, no, 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 no. The person had the, the other staff member is like, uh, we already saw them in someone's bag. Like, so I had to, I left all my, I'm like chasing after her to the front of the plane. But yeah. All my stuff is still back in the yeah. cabin. So, I, okay, I got to go back and get my backpack and then I'm going to chase after her. So I go and get my backpack, run into the airport and I'm ringing this thing and you hear it echo through the airport. Da -da 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 -da. She's, She's not doing anything. Oh She's just walking. God. And I'm like, no, no, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. And, you know, and then you got to take the thing down to baggage claim and you got to, <laughs> <laughs> holy <laughs> shit. We get to baggage claim. Da -da 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 -da. I can't hear it anymore. She jumped in okay. a car. Okay. Uh, and there are people at the baggage claim. Bro, did you get your AirPods? What happened, dude? Oh. What happened? I'm like, I can't hear them anymore. No. I the lady stole them. Whatever. The lady stole them. So I got the bag, and then um, uh, I got my bag, and then I was at the airport probably another hour because I was tracking them all over. They were still at the airport. It, at like every 20 minutes or so, it gave me an airport uh, an update, and it's like, no, it's in the terminal right now. It's still in the terminal. Huh. And so I was like, oh, you're close to it. Ah, oh, no, now it's gone. Oh, no, you're, you're close uh, to it. Oh, it's gone. And then the people at the counter were like, no one's turning anything in. And then, yeah, after another 20 minutes, it was like, okay, it's at, and I have their address. Like, I have their home address. Because <laughs> cool. you track it. Yeah. Let's give it it's out. Like, okay, it's at uh, 201, uh, there, whatever. It's like, are you kidding me? They went home with it. Uh, so I she can't use didn't a case. get them. It's There's just no AirPods. The case. No, right. No yeah, AirPods. Thankfully, the AirPods are in my ear. And just like a couple months ago, they started selling the new case the usb-c airpods case Got it. by itself got it you know but it was like so i was i mean i was out 80 bucks but the thing that was more sad to me was that it had i did get the engraving on there yeah that again. now um but i could have been out a couple hundred bucks so it could have been worse did, but. did she just what ha how did this happen can did, she not think, hear the thing i think kevin nailed it i told this whole story to kevin and they kind of one of the staff members kind of uh, when I talked to them at the counter, kind of back this up too. Hmm. I think she was just uh, uh, scared to set to so you, back. So you scared as in like she stole oh, them. I I saw found these. I took advantage. Oh, mine now. Yeah, yeah. stole them. I think in my mind, it's just oh, you found my case. Just hand it to me, and it's not a big deal. But I think they found AirPods and just took them, and, and now are scared. And just went. Well, I can't. I can't just say I have them. You know what I mean? Like there was a million people yelling, going AirPods, AirPods, AirPods that I think they felt intimidated to go like, oh, oh yeah, I have but, them. I you know what I mean? I go, oh, I just, they're I think, on the ground I right think here. she just kept walking and didn't, you know, just. Yeah. She was and trying to get out of it, but you kept sounding that alarm, probably yeah. making her. That she should have said, honestly, if I was her, I would have said, trash can, not my problem anymore. You can go yeah. get your AirPods yourself. You know, something like that where yeah. it's like, you would have found them. You would have gone through and you would have gotten it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> why just take them home? Uh, and um, Well, dump and, them on the plane. Don't even get out of the plane yeah, when everyone's the making them. Yeah, once you realize fiasco, that, it's like, oh, I shouldn't have stolen these. Drop them on the floor again. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, and they also, they have like a, a lot, they have a lost item mode. Mm. They don't call it theft mode. But that is what it is. Where you turn it on and they cannot add it to their account, their phone. They if can't they do it. Sell it. And if they do, and if they do, do their phone would say uh it has a pop-up that's like, hey, these are uh so and so's. Uh here's how you can contact them and you know, whatever. <laughs> and uh yeah, so I left them that, but they never did it. No. They never uh tried. No. They're so scared. I think they bailed on that. I think they did. And well, also it's just the case. It's not that the phone. I think they found uh, you know they probably yeah. found it, didn't open it, and like right. the AirPods, and then they realized later. Maybe oh, is, this thing. But is they, the address just, in Massachusetts? 
Yeah, it was yeah. a mile or two away from where we were. Now, here's the question, though, is like, okay, so that was a flight from San Diego to Boston. Mm -hmm. They could either live in Massachusetts or they could have been visiting someone and now they're going to come back yeah. and they could come back. The AirPods case could be back in your own home. Yeah. You didn't but, take an Uber while you were in <clears throat> Massachusetts to their address? No. Oh, okay. I thought it was worth just buying a new case. When we, I do when we did the door down. <clears throat> when we did the panel, <laughs> yeah. we, Rocco told the story. And uh, he was, we were looking at it. It was three miles away, somewhere in that three mile oh, range. What a yeah. cool, I would, I would have to go, I, just out of curiosity, <laughs> I'd have to go knocking on that door. <laughs> yeah. And was, dinging the thing again. Uh, I could hear it in there. <laughs> by the time I was all done at the airport, that was like 5.30 in the You're morning. You're like I sick was like, of it. Yeah, I think I'm ready to go to bed. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, but it all worked out. I picked up a new case. I put in a thing and picked up a new case at the Apple store in Boston and got to see a, a cool dog. Cool there you dog. go. That was it. Oh, like a iRobot dog? No. Oh, oh dog, a big, a dog, sad, dog. Big sad dog. Oh, a dog. Inside someone, the Apple someone store. Someone brought their dog to the Apple store and that dog was like acting bored. Like, <laughs> like that dog was like, <laughs> it yeah. like, like Beethoven, <laughs> you know, the, the, that, that, that kind of dog, whatever that yeah, dog is. Yeah, St. Bernard. Uh, Saint Bernard. Yeah, yeah, it was a big ass St. Bernard, <laughs> like making a scene. Sighing. Like, <laughs> A loud size. I was like, this dog rules. So yeah. it was worth the trip. But yeah. That was so hey, dumb. for me, I gotta go. I mentioned it before. I gotta go to the Cheers bar. Mm, mm -hmm. Thing, I you know, it was the last day. Our flight was about to take off, and I was like, I haven't. We didn't have a chance to go. Like I'm oh, yeah, going. That was a thing for you. So I left the booth and I went down to the 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 bar. It was way cooler than I thought it was going to be. Honestly, was? yeah, because they made it. I don't know what that was before, if it really was a bar before or not, but they turn it into the bar cheers. Like, yeah. so like it's like, wow. it looks exactly the same pretty much. And then you go down the same steps and then the, the door, there's two doors. You open up one and then inside this little like, um, little, it's not a lounge, a little like lobby, in, lobby way, but it's not even that. It's like a little yeah. square, but it's just the theme song on repeat. <laughs> Sometimes and then you open up go. the, the door to get into the actual bar looks exactly like the door in the show with the same like painting on it and everything. Yeah. Yeah. You open that up and then it's like inside, it doesn't look exactly, it doesn't look like Cheers, the show. It's, right, it couldn't. Right, right. But it is, a, and they have like, oh, here's uh, Rebecca's entrees and here's Sam Malone's sandwiches okay. and then here's Norm's yes. the, can you roast go in the beef. Office? Oh, I want to go here. It's we got to, next year, this uh, is We got to go. Can you go to the manager's office on the other uh, side of the set? Well, here, so here's the thing is uh, you can walk down into the bar and it again it's way more crowded and it's a restaurant yeah and then you can go around the back to the bathrooms and go up the stairs kind of like in the in original the, in show. The show yeah and then there's a gift shop up there oh okay. and then they have they re they did a replica of the actual set and that's in another room oh so i tried to go in there i guess it was like some like private party and i didn't realize that some guy like got fucking mad at me. Uh, really mad yeah at yeah oh. did you see the sign i'm like no i was looking at the fucking bar i didn't know i didn't see uh, the sign down yeah. there but then fuck you <laughs> it worked out because he kicked me out which is fine i mean i i didn't i didn't see this i did walk past the sign i wasn't yeah. looking at it but so i did i did break the rules um but then as i'm leaving i'm waiting for uh my ride back and then i see the actual mailman w doing his route right in front norm no, Cliff, uh, Cliff Clavin. Oh, who's Norm? The Norm is just uh, his Cliff Clavin's best friend. Oh, okay, honestly. I got you. Yeah. Cliff was the mailman. Sorry. Yeah, but uh, he was doing his route, and so I was like, I, "Excuse me, sir, what, could I, could I get a picture with you?" <laughs> and then the guy from Boston, like, "Why do you want a picture with me?" And there's a guy right next to the the building. He's smoking a cigarette. He's like, "Cause you're a mailman outside of Cheers." <laughs> 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 and That's then perfect. he answered it for you. He answered That's it for perfect. me. Yeah. <laughs> and then so the guy's like, I mean, I don't look like Cliff Clavin. I'm like, yeah, but you got the you uniform. Put the bill. But hey, man, wouldn't that be funny? He's like, yeah. all right. So Shoot then like, oh, he was great. so sweet. He's like, where are you going to post this? I'm like, probably Instagram. I was like, okay. And then uh, ah, ah, the guy who smoked the cigarette took the picture for me. But like that picture is like, oh, this is everything I've ever. I couldn't, this couldn't have gone yeah, better for me. It is a me. perfect photo. Me and the mailman outside of Cheers, yeah. fuck yeah. So, so uh, a huge success. Why did they pick this location to be the Cheers bar? Because the show was a a set on a back lot. Yeah. Why did they choose that? And was it based off of this bar? Or? I have absolutely no idea why. But they it chose just that. got chosen. Hey, the show takes place in Boston. Boston. I thought, yeah, yeah. I, th I thought it was based on that bar. Maybe, maybe. I, I, don't, I know. don't know if that bar was there first. Because the bar technically is called Bull and Finch. Yeah. I don't know. Is it close to the convention center? 
It was probably a. It was like three miles, okay. maybe less than that. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, it was. It was so fucking cool. Like I, we should definitely go back there and get you know the Fraser Crane chicken sandwich. Like we should, wow. we should definitely, yes. we should definitely do that. Um, yeah. Oh, Whether like so cheers down. or not, which next I do time, love cheers. Next time we'll make up. Okay. I want the Lilith uh, spinach dip. That I swear to God, it's a Lilith uh, spinach salad. <laughs> like you aren't far off. My, you were right there. My favorite, <laughs> my favorite cosplay I think I've ever seen at a convention. Period was a cheers cosplay. Oh really? <laughs> because. They, you're thinking, okay, right now you're thinking, okay, what? Uh, uh, Ted Danson's character, yeah, or, Sam Malone, you know, yeah, Sam Malone, or whatever. They were in full 1920s garb, oh, with a glass, and then he had a uh, transparent piece of glass oh. coming off of his chest that said, uh, produced by whatever, you know, that credit, uh, yeah. where it's the guy going like that, yeah, oh, that is, he had those credits floating in front of him, that cool. he was cool. like that. I was like, ten. 11 out of 10 that cosplay. is so good that, that, is, is. that is actually my favorite cosplay. <laughs> yeah, and that is like dope. so obscure but you know exactly what yep. it is oh that's dope i have uh i'm not going to go into this but i i got um luckily because it was a clusterfuck i got tickets to d23 expo Ooh, that's ha it happens every other year in anaheim the big disney event that they do and i that's the one con i will do legitimate cosplay for yeah. and i have one similar to that ready this year oh it was in it's not like that, but it's inspired by that, where it's equally obscure and has like a, some text. Atta attachments like that. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm uh, dying to know what it I'm, is. I'm going to get, I'm actually, Garrett, I'm probably going to uh, oh, hit, hit you up, beg you for uh, advice on hit this. Hit me so. up. Hit me up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Happy to help. Um, but anyway, uh, anyway, yeah. Next year, we're going. We, we tried to go. There, there, there's a tavern we really love to go to in Boston. They have really good curry fries and stuff like that. And then we tried to go this year, and it was like, all it, it, it there was like a bar crawl thing happening and there was like blink 182 cover band playing and it was like oh we came here for food there's no food here say it ain't so <laughs> i will not go. it's like oh get out of here and then we uh, walked we walked out and a guy immediately sweaty drunk dude right in our face you have drugs you have all right drugs. let's go time to leave <laughs> bye then, he says to kevin and kevin's like no yeah which is no. weird because he had, he had them. Yeah, Kevin had all the drugs. He was all the drugs that, he had. You know, he had uh, blue, blue, the blue Breaking Bad. Last year we went to that same bar and there was also a band that kind of ruined the ambiance of us trying to have dinner. Oh, really? I don't remember that. Yeah, they kept. I they thinking. started playing. Um, mm, yeah, really fucking loud halfway. Through, we had already ordered yeah. and then they were like setting up and it was like oh is there music here tonight yeah okay, and then I they started and it was like so fucking obnoxious and loud we're trying to eat everyone in the rest of the bar is not eating or yeah <laughs> or even seated you know now it's like becoming a different environment from when we walked yeah. in and then when we tried to leave you have to walk past the band yeah and the you have to walk past the front of the stage to yeah. get to the front door so they were like come on sing. they were trying to get us to sing something and we we're like yeah bye <laughs> like, <walk laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh I do remember that now. That's yeah, fine. It was uh uh well, well well what was I gonna say? Uh but it, it all worked out. That was, that was really the only hiccup in our yeah trip. I mean, I would say. Fine. And we still got an amazing dinner that night, so it's all good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, we were eating chowder and sh oh we my had God. oysters. We did try oysters. We should what's that? Oysters. oysters. We did try oysters. Actually, you know what? I don't want to spoil it because we recorded a video we did of our um that is the one I love seafood, but that was the one like cold oysters when it's served on like ice or whatever was the one weak point in that in that whole regard where I was just like, I don't know about that. So we all went in. Damn. Look for that video. I miss that. So, That's kind of fa oysters yeah. is like fancy. Like we only do oysters on like we, a, like a birthday or yeah. out at dinner. So we, we got. Well, we didn't do like the huge. Got, we just get like one each just to see. Oh, OK. We, gotcha. we could hang. Gotcha. And we oh, and we hung. We'll we'll tell you we'll tell you what happened. But uh, first, before we get too much further, I do want to say uh, thank you to everybody as always for your support. If you like our show, you're gonna want to go to shop.mega64.com and pick up some Mega Sixty Four stuff. Oh yeah, as always, we've got great apparel. Of course, we're all stocked up. While we were at PAX, we stocked our store with the uh, I think it was a cyberspace collection, yep. yeah. Which uh, your friends in cyberspace, I believe it was called, and um, online sweatshirt, online joggers, things of a uh, cybernetic nature. You know, um, the virtual friends shirt, which was uh, one of my favorite designs. Yeah, we've done in a while. I love that style. 
Um, and among uh, many the other switch things. switch case, which I, switch I cases up. flew back and forth to Boston, my switch, totally good. Yeah, that, that was worked. cool. Totally so good. So all that's in stock. We also uh, fairly recently put out the uh, Mega 64 Time to Take a Long Hard Look Blu-ray, which, uh, you know, a lot of people have asked me over the last few weeks. It's like, oh, I saw this Blu-ray. You just restocked it in your store, but is all of that, is the stuff on there, is it the same as what's in the Master Collection? Because people are waiting for that to, to come uh. to them soon, too. Um, it's totally different. It's... Uh, the stuff in the Master Collection is all core Mega 64 stuff. It's our original public access series, but also all the um, public game experiment videos, like kind of what started Mega 64 from then to now. Um, Time to Take a Long Hard Look is our more eccentric work from 2016 to 2019, specifically that period. Commercial work that we did, sketches that we wrote, um, sometimes didn't write, sometimes improvised, but um, and anything in between that didn't fit anywhere else that's what's on this collection. So if you don't have it, I would recommend it highly. Mm -hmm. And hours mm -hmm. and hours of stuff, hours and hours of commentary, you'll be happy you got it. Shop.mega64.com. And don't forget, this Friday, Friday, April 5th, Mega64 Farewell Tour Blu-ray. Oh. And not only is it a Blu-ray, but we've got a whole bunch of stuff coming out that day. We have a whole tour-themed merch drop happening that day. That's right. Where you could pick up the official tour shirt. And then we've got a VIP bundle we only have a limited amount of these because it's actually stuff that was on our tour. We didn't like reprint this. It's, That's it's true. It's in our in our warehouse right now. Um, but it, you get a signed poster, a VIP badge, and the physical NFT certificate. We're not doing this digital NFT shit. None of that. Nope. It's physical, you know. And NFTs, I hear, are like the few are like better than ever right now. Right now, they off. are popping off. Is um, what I heard. I did have a lot of people on social media being like, "Wow, you're doing NFTs, huh?" It's like, no, don't, don't. Um, this, this is, we're doing physical NFT. Yeah. The physical NFT, which is what they should have done in the beginning. Yeah. I mean, that's where yeah. they really fucked up. Yeah, they made better. them non-fungible should have been fungible, fungible yeah, yeah, because yeah. the, the Mona Lisa is a, uh, fungible. a fungible NFT. And it rules. And it's like, priceless it. still. We're kind of like the smile, better dude? NFT. Yeah. So we did the, we did the Mona Lisa route. Yeah. yeah. And, and, uh, don't forget our new game this week. Doug Huggum is out. And again, if you like that game, Pick up the official Doug Huggum merchandise. You can pick all that up. So there's plenty to pick from yeah. this week at shop.mega64.com. You have every option to get something. Why don't you? Why don't right? You? That was spend, that's my question. And spend your Easter winnings. Yeah. Everyone wins at Easter. And Everyone every, wins at you know, Easter. Everyone. Um, whatever you got in your Easter basket, put it in our, put it in Mega Pay 64's it basket. <laughs> Pay that's it forward, all. baby. Uh Okay, so I did, ha I, you know, I don't want to like dominate this uh, conversation, oh, but good. I did have, you know, we, d you know, I, I want to make sure everything is covered. There's nothing that, you know, we didn't get to talk about. No, but, I feel good. Yeah, okay. I feel good. I do want to just share real quick and then, you know, if you want to wrap it up, that's cool with me, whatever you guys want to do. Yeah. But I have to share something that happened to me uh, two days ago. Okay. And I'm putting it out to the chat. I'm putting it out to you guys here. I want Kevin to hear this too. Kevin's Kevin. working on stuff. I want him to come in and hear this. Kevin, we need you. Because I want to know if, the, if this was handled the right way, no. whether they handled the right way, or if I handled the right way or not. I want to hear the moral. Okay, Does this here. involve you in your underwear in a lobby in a hotel again? <laughs> or did we? No, what's the debate on that? I handled it perfectly. Yeah, I think that the, the, the pirate Maybe. accent is where you lost me. I I, arr, I, arr, I forgot I, my in me skivvies. I see. I be in skivvies. <laughs> <laughs> I, <say> skivvies. <laughs> I was just saying. I was just saying normal things in a pirate voice. I need my key because I forgot me ID and my um, iPhone. I'm really I fucking awkward text. right now. This is, I really got to get out of here. <laughs> anyway, I'm. Uh, I'm going to be doing that again. D23 this year. What's going to happen this time? Can't wait to find out. But what out happened to again? you? Where's the rub? This time, this how did is, you handle this? This situation? is Disney related. Okay, I, good. Briefly, I, I, I was going to say, I went up uh, on uh, Wednesday. I went up to LA because I had uh, tickets to, um, I did, I had tickets for a double feature in LA. The New Beverly Theater was playing a double feature of the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, 1990. The, you know, with the Jim Henson shit. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. That and w Reservoir Dogs. The ultimate double feature. That's as meant together. Peanut butter and jelly, they call those movies. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, we had, uh, uh, it, it turns out, I mean, everyone was confused by this. They were edited. They were both edited by Sally Menke, who was oh. like Tarantino. Editor. He said by Rest his own by his own words, <laughs> he said that was his one true collaborator. Like hmm. he worked with her to edit the movies. She was a great editor. She's passed away. 
But um, she edited both those movies. I never do that. I I love the OG, the, that, fir that first Turtles movie. The yeah. other ones are a little hard to watch now. They, I liked them when I was a kid, but that first one I think is still, has like some cool cinematography. Oh, I mean, yeah. it's like shot pretty cool and the effects are still good. And uh, it's pretty impressive. And then uh, I'd never seen Reservoir Dogs. And uh, my review, everyone, everyone's been asking like, oh, what did you think of it? I'm like, I was just taken aback by how young and handsome everyone was. I'm like, <laughs> Steve Buscemi was like, Young and handsome at one point. It's okay. <laughs> you know, um, everybody, Michael Madsen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Quentin Tarantino kind of looks the same. But uh, but you know what I mean? It was just, anyway. But it, I really love the movie, though. Really, really thoroughly enjoyed it. And I see why every high school and college guy wanted to write a script like that. Oh, yeah. Felt, felt very attainable. It's, oh, they're just in a in a warehouse the whole time. We could do this. real vulgar. Yeah. It feels like, I could do, it does feel like that. Yeah. So inspiring in that regard. But anyway, I really enjoyed it. Anyway, point is, I was going up to LA. It was really early in the morning, and I'm like, I'm going to stop by Disneyland. There's a couple things I wanted to pick up that, that had come out and uh, they just brought back the new Soren rides. I'm like, I'm going to do that one time and then I'll just leave. So I get to the park and I'm like, oh, this is a, this is a mistake. It's a uh, spring break in LA oh, right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so even even early in the morning, fairly busy. I'm glad I got there like right at opening because mm. it'll probably get worse later. But security you have to go through is taking so long and and then I get closer to the front. I'm waiting forever. You know, I'm on my phone. I'm like, how long have I been here? Get to the front. And then I see why it's taking so long. The people in front of me have every vape device known to man. Oh. It is seriously, <laughs> okay, like, you can't bring any of these in here. Like, you go, yeah. oh, we didn't um, didn't know those were in there. And the guy is like, really? Because uh, it looks like they're all hidden. Like, oh. like, uh. like, like, bro, there's <laughs> hidden pocket. Like, I found it under this, tucked into the, like, yeah, like these are all, he's like, come yeah. on. Like, all right. So, you know, it's a classic thing. He's like, you can either leave with these or I can throw them away and you may continue, but that's your only option. Yeah. And, you know, no one wants to go through security again. No. It's like, ah, fuck. Yeah, throw them away. It's like, okay. And then seals them up in a thing, puts them in a thing, seals it up. I mean, it, it, this was happening again and again. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I literally have the thought to myself, Thank God I was never into this shit yeah. or any other fucking shit that would get me in trouble here because I feel like I see it all the time. Oh, you have knives on you. Oh, you brought, uh, you know, unfortunately for a lot of girls who carry pepper spray, they get, I see that all the time too. Yeah. You have pepper spray on your keychain. You got to go, you know. I'm like, thank God I don't have to worry about any of that stuff. I get up to the front. Cool. What do you have in your bag? Oh, just a laptop. Can you come with us for a minute? What? Yeah. What? I get pulled into fucking security. Kevin, it was just like when yeah, I yeah. threw the trash, the what? camera in the trash, in trash can. can. I'm like, again, what did I do this to? They're like, sir, can you come with, come with, just come with us. Come with us. Okay, okay. They pull me away and a bigger security guard guy was there. He's like, I just told them, uh, I saw you and I told, told them to bring you over here. I was like, okay. And for a second, I'm thinking, did, is he gonna, I have had security stop me a couple times yeah. and it was a joke thing. Oh. Where it's like, sir, just want to tell you, your Parappa backpack is so sick. And it's like, wish you wouldn't have done that. Like, yeah. I was like worried. Uh, heart attack. That's yeah. happened to me a couple times. <laughs> um, where it's like, yeah, Damn. okay, can I leave? Like, <laughs> So I'm like, oh, that's what's going to happen yeah. here. And he's like, this guy was just like, um, we, have a, we have a decision to make here. Uh, and we're having a little trouble making it. And I want to just kind of talk with you about it. And, uh, and I'm going, uh Oh, this guy's been serious for too long. Yeah. What, there's no on? joke here. Um, we need to know what to do with your pants. Uh, we are gonna, what? I'm talking with my colleagues about your pants right now. And the whole time your I'm going, pants. did I do something? Shit my pants. And, and I'm thinking to myself, I think to myself, was my fly down? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, 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 is there something I didn't see? Yeah. He's like, you know, it's, um, it's just about, listen, if, if the gun is pointing to the side, <gasps> I know, I know exactly, no. but if, and I'm going the gun, you're wearing your, I didn't even yeah. think about, what I just pants? recently you, these got pants right here. These pants, so I want to show them. I got them cause I thought they were funny. <laughs> now you're <laughs> not allowed into Disneyland. They are Spice Girls joggers. <laughs> and this is what they look like. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's got his. Kev Cam's okay, got it. So but you're not Mike. Oh, yeah. Spice Girls. Oh, yeah, that's definitely. <laughs> <God. laughs> oh, no. Rocco, oh, there's three of them. Shit. <coughs> so I go, I literally, and I was, I was like, <gasps> I didn't even think about 
the I I got these pants because they made me laugh. I didn't think about this. And he's like, it's just like where if the gun was pointed to you or to the side, <laughs> I think we'd be okay. But it's pointing at you, the guest, or you or me. Yeah. That I just don't know about this. I was like, okay. And I told him, I'm like, I don't want any trouble. I'll I'll I'm just gonna be here for a minute. I'll go in the bathroom and turn him inside out and go yeah, get my yeah, thing. Yeah. I don't care. He's like, oh, but that would look, you, you would look so, uh, you know, that would, that would look kind of silly. I'm like, I, I'm used to looking silly. I don't care. Yeah. You know, I didn't give him any, any trouble yeah, at all. Of course not. But he went back and forth on this for like 10 minutes. I, I just, I don't know. Um, can I take a picture of these? Oh, geez. I'm going to talk with the staff here and oh, just kind of get a consensus. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm really. This dude's sorry. wasting your time to make his fucking day go. And by I'm faster. like, okay, and then, yeah, I just don't. I just don't. Shit or get off the pot. Well, like, why are you that, making? That's someone, what I'm starting to do. I'm you're like, making okay. a guest of the park awkwardly now sit in interrogation. And, yeah, for and five then I'm like, minutes. I'll just go turn him inside. I can go do it. Yeah. Yeah, but you said uh, you said you're not you're not even gonna be here all day, right? <laughs> no, I mean you're just here for what? hour yeah 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 okay um i mean do you yeah i mean would it be a problem to go no i i will go he's like do, do you have any uh, do you have like a change of pants here i don't really bring pairs of pants with me yeah, not no, four. No. no i'll just turn them inside out and go <laughs> i just shit my last pair yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh yeah i mean would it be a big uh this just went on for so long Fuck. i mean and i'm at this point i'm just like i'll just go home like i don't give a shit you know um yeah, I mean, what? Maybe you could. Maybe you just want to go in there, turn them inside out. Because I'm just not here in bat. I'm just not okay. 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 So I walked away, and I uh, I just went over to. Uh, there's another entrance on the other. Uh, you know, at the uh, to get away from this guy. Yeah, yeah. I just went to the other thing, and no one cared. Of course, <laughs> it you was didn't like, turn shit like by the monorail or whatever. It was just like, oh yeah, yeah. No, you're good. Yeah, and yeah, that, and that's yeah, no, no. It, I, my thought like, was like, I could see his hitting behind because like if. The easy solution is, yeah, inside out. And then you go inside the park and you turn them back the way they're supposed to be. And then you walk back out. Like, yeah, that's yeah. probably what the most pre people would do. I've seen, I've seen a shirt in the park. Well, our, our friend, I remember our friend Jason sent us a picture of someone who had a shirt that said, fuck it all in, in Disney. <laughs> in the so park. they get, they get through all the time. And I have actually seen them do that. Even to my friends who wore like kind of eccentric stuff in the park, like, oh, it kind of looks like you have a costume, but they don't have a hard they don't go like sir come with me that's a costume you can't wear it it's always mm, i don't know Ooh, uh, mm. and it's like well okay well i'm i'm just gonna like avoid you then you know so my feeling was like okay if we're not sure i'm just gonna move on with my day mm -hmm. dude i don't think i was being a dick no, by doing that no so. no you weren't i just and, and you were willing to turn them inside out all yeah that kind of stuff if i went now if i went to the other gate and they were they were just like yo man cannot wear that yeah, okay. I would have been like, "All right, go done." No, you did the right thing, Absolutely. right? Yeah. Okay, um, but what do you think? It was the guy being too extreme. Like, should I have not worn these to the thing? I, no, the guy's wasting I, your time. Now, here's <laughs> the here's guy's my, a dickhead. Here's my thought: is like it's <laughs> Disneyland, yeah, and that happens to be child height so the kids are looking at this gun <laughs> yeah. yeah right totally i'm not so, i'm not i don't have an argument against that i, I really understand, just want to know what you think yeah. i totally understand the logic of you can't wear these pants here yes like sure. i get that so you think that's legit the, him, yeah, him, him going yo don't do that i do that's I, legit I, 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 do, I do think that's legit. now okay do totally. i think now here's the thing do i think that's extreme yeah but it's disneyland it's disneyland yeah. i have no uh like i said I, I have no argument against that i actually am totally i i just uh yeah. Didn't think about it, and I was like, "Oh, yeah, I guess uh, okay." I just wanted to get your yeah. opinion on as it. I don't entity, think they were being crazy to bring that up. But. As a company or as an entity, I think they have the right to refuse service to anyone. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. if they don't want that in their park, then that is their obligation. Yeah. yeah. But I think that guy specifically, specifically, he could have told you to do the thing and done his job if he noticed it. I just yeah. think they didn't notice it. At and the I other honestly gate. do believe, but he wasted your time by yeah, him it was on and, and trying to fucking send pictures. I to also a believe manager. you didn't think about it. Yeah. At all? No, Why would not, you? no, didn't ever even cross my mind. No, of course not. So, so I feel like uh, it was, yeah. and I also feel like if you, the guy asked, "Hey, yeah, can you turn him inside out?" You were the kind of person who'd be like, "Yes," and you would leave him inside out the entire time. Yeah, I would. You yeah. wouldn't go back and change it back. Yeah, yeah, I know you would. Yeah, I know you don't give a fuck. Yeah, dude. Next game days, I'm wearing my Sam Hyde shoe. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs>
<laughs> it's problematic though. Uh, um, I, I don't have that shirt. So. No, um, but yeah. So uh, anyway, I just wanted to. Yeah, I, 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 I didn't feel bad going to the other thing and just going through because again, like they, they, they didn't have a decision on it, and I really was. I was just in there for a minute. I yeah. did one thing. I ate and I <laughs> left. But um, now that now I'm sure when you saw Reservoir Dogs, they were not upset about that. Those pants. No, no, they were stoked. <laughs> they I they were like, them. actually, cut the line. Yeah, exactly. You're, you're yeah, good. Yeah. Come you on, go ahead. Uh, Anyone but with guns on their clothes. But yeah, I wasn't sure. I was like, oh, okay, is that? I'm just used to. I'm so used to looking at these pants now that in my mind they don't register as anything. You know what I mean? It's like hearing yeah. a word a million times. Yeah, it doesn't sound like anything. Yeah, I'm Dude. like, is this a big deal? But then I'm like, oh, if I saw somebody else with a, gun, what would I think? If I saw him on somebody else, I don't know. So I want to get your opinion and the chat's yeah. opinion. Yeah. Like, Woke Anaheim. If I'm at Disneyland and my kids saw those pants, I don't give a shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That it's fine. But I could it's I could see some people yeah, going dude. like, really? You brought that energy here? I mean, they don't sell gun toys in the park anymore. Like that. Yeah, they stopped. They, but they, I used to buy so many pirate guns. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that yeah. Was inside the, best. the fucking, you know, Garrett, I have Pirates gift shop. Uh my bathroom is sort of pirates. Themed. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like I've seen uh that. There's old Disney stuff in yeah. my bathroom, and uh, that is on display. Um, literally, you could sitting on the pirate's throne, <laughs> <laughs> and I have a the skeleton with the steering wheel statue, yeah. and I have a gun in front of it. It's the the old pistol musket. they used to sell. Yeah, the oh, musket looking thing, cool. and it looks perfect. Like those oh, looked yeah. really good they as did. a kid. That was like such a premium toy. Yeah, After you went on sure. the ride, you saw that. Like, I need this gun. It, it was I like, oh, this, this is a gun. real pirate gun. Put caps in it, and, and then you remember years one. later, they then oh, we're gonna paint them green and orange, and it was like just like the ride. Nope. I yeah. bet you that would not have happened at Disney World in Florida. Everyone's wearing <laughs> guns with camo pattern. Oh, I the mean, pants thing? Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. They might have. It's it, Woke Anaheim, dude. <laughs> woke Anaheim in California, and they're California. stopping you in wasting your time. Um, Florida would have had no problem. Sir, come on in. You got hey, brass knuckles in your pocket? Bring all the vapes you want. Hey, to be fair, uh, Kevin and I have gone a couple yeah. times to Disney, to Disney World, and their yeah. Tom Sawyer Island still has the fort and stuff you could go oh, into. Oh, cool. And they still freely have all the replica rifles Usable, in the door. Usable where toy guns. like Yeah, and it's literally like, okay, what 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 can I point at? Oh, people. Li the line people. of people across that the river. That is always, <laughs> as a kid, thinking back, thinking <laughs> back, fort. you were just trying to find people going about their day yeah. just to pretend to shoot. That's crazy. And it's got the full yeah. sound and everything. Yeah. I'm like, damn, this hasn't been in California in a million years. I that fucking no. part of this. So oh, yeah, that was so fun. I didn't uh, invest so wild. But you still see people doing that now where you go in there and it's like, oh, Big Thunder Line's looking a little long. <laughs> 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 oh, and that's like quick. two points. Yikes. Ooh, okay. A stroller, three points. <laughs> a stroller, three points. <laughs> I think you should get more, personally. Yeah. But anyway, um, that was a joke. It was um, all uh, uh, fun and games. Death rate. Okay, I forget uh, but anyway, yeah. So I just want to ask you guys about that. That was that was pretty much it. Yeah. Okay. Um, I know uh, it is Easter. Yeah. So we should. It's the oh. season of giving. Yeah. As we of as this. of right. Yeah. We have big Easter plans after this. Yeah. <laughs> um. We we have gifts. Rock. If you want to grab the gifts. Oh, Goody. Okay. You're talking yeah. about goodies. Goodies. I'm sorry. Well, it's it's Easter, so it's, it's gifts. Easter. You got some. Hopefully, some peeps in there. Do you guys yeah. like peeps? No. No. Fuck no. Fuck that. No. no one likes them. Huh. I don't know. I used to fuck with peeps. Here. Uh this one is actually for Garrett. Oh. Uh this one is uh nice. delivered to him. Just be oh, careful. I don't think this was like yeah, just yeah. don't show that. And then Rocco is that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It okay. says for me on it somewhere. It's addressed to you. I see that now. Yeah. Mm, okay, let's see I what we got. Hey, while we're uh opening this, I wanted to um Get that ready, Garrett. Get that ready to go. Check yeah. it out. And while we're doing that, um, I want to ask everybody podcast question of the week. You know, we haven't done that in a while. We should make that more regular. Yeah. Podcast question of the week. It's been, um, God, like 15 years. So it's, yeah. been, it's been a minute. You know, um, where you email us at podcast at mega64.com and give us your feedback on something. You can always send your feedback there. We'll read it. But um, <laughs> we just don't always ask questions. Anyway, uh, lately, you guys have been noticing we've been putting out more videos definitely than we did last year. I think this year we've already released more than we did last Hell year. Yeah. Notice. Last year was a year for fixing a lot of uh, broken things, but guess what? We're all fixed up. New videos flowing like diarrhea, baby. Oh, cool. <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, uh, we got a lot more videos this year, and whenever we put out more videos, we do we do get feedback that's like, uh, you know, 
we get feedback on both ends of the spectrum where people really love our podcast, but then there's other people that are like, I love the skits on your channel. I don't care about the podcast and there's too many of those or whatever. So we always get people going, should the podcast be on a different channel? There's like a, all like that a podcast that, channel. That conversation has been happening. We've been putting the pod, I think as of this year, it's like we've been putting the podcast on this channel for like 10 years. Dang. It's been a long time, but we still have people going like, that should be on a different channel. Podcast question of the week. What do you think about that? Should the podcast be on another? I'm just curious what the community thinks. Should that be on another channel? Should that be? Should, it's like, no, hey, all things Mega 64 on the Mega 64 channel. You know, done deal. I see that side too. I've always seen both sides. I really don't have like a super opinionated yeah, I don't. thing on it. I've always been like, I don't know, like where where is it best for you guys? That's kind of my thought. It's like whatever you guys want yeah. on this one. I've, mean, def I've, I've, I've definitely you. debated both sides where it's yeah. like, yo, give that its own thing. Let our videos be on this channel. But also... Well, most of our audience is on this channel. Why would we not want the podcast yeah, and know, all the stuff that we like to be on this channel? You know, so it goes back and forth. Yeah, we have, you know, um, like, you know, over 600,000 subscribers on this channel. Yeah. Whereas, like, if we had a new one, we start from the beginning. That sounds yeah, terrible. Yeah. There, there's pros and cons. There's definitely pros and cons to both. You know, and people, oh, the algorithm likes this and this and that. But, like, we're, 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 we are we're want to hear. We don't care about the algorithm. We want to hear from you. What do you want? Yeah. So yeah. Uh, just give us your feedback. You know, I don't know if we'll do anything with it but i'd want i'd want to at i'm least curious know. at least yeah exactly so give us your feedback on that specifically podcast at mega64.com email us or tweet at us whatever is convenient for you and, and let us know your thoughts we want to hear rocco what do you got okay you so got? i have here a uh note from blake blake uh saying that he was at a thrift store and found uh vintage trading cards oh and I want to say thank you. Uh, he found uh, Decision 92. Oh, holy shit. Election card. <laughs> That's fucking oh, crazy. <laughs> including, including billionaire Ross Perot. Yeah, oh, he got name dropped. I was going to say, is the Ross Perot year? That's that's then. Um, and then That's a going. Power Rangers ones. Okay. And then. Um, Here's the deal. New Kids on the Block Ooh, cards. Those are good. And the best ones. Santa Around the World. Oh, <laughs> what? Shit. Different Santa Clauses? Different, yeah, what version of Open Santa Open that Claus? up. Siberian Santa. Uh, I want to see what, what version of what, Santa. Is this fuckface got. break shit? We're doing card breaks now? Yeah, okay. this is that's what this is. Is that why we're not doing it anymore? Yeah. We got to do it. All right. Uh, 1930 Europe, classic Santa. Ooh, that's a good one. Can you, where's, where's Kev Camp? Is Kev Camp available? There it is. Oh, there you go. That's St. Nicholas classic right there. I, I, that looks like fun. And then, uh, dude, 1908 Europe. I've seen a lot of Europe. Well, he's where's a, a Judeo-Christian Where's like Thailand character, or yeah. something, you know? It's complete Santa. Well, they, that's cool. Anyway, they don't believe in him. 1900 there. Europe? I have I have the whole set at home. The heathens the in Thailand set. don't believe in Santa. Yeah. Well, cool. Well, well, thank, thank you. you. Thanks, Blake. Blake. Thank you very much. Garrett, what do you got? Well, I have to thank John, who listened to the podcast, and because we talked about my coffee intake, mm. uh, he writes, Hello, Garrett. Inspired by your coffee talk, here... Is some coffee from the roastery I work at. Whoa! Like oh, nice. Phase and the awesome. How would you say that? Phase and the. Phase and the. Phase and the. The French roast is not as dark as the Starbucks. Oh. Also sending some decaf in case you wanted to try and scale back your coffee intake. That's so nice. John, that's exactly what I've been doing. I've been doing about half and half. So I'm at 400 milligrams. Okay. Half decaf and half regular beans is Ooh, what i'm brewing this now this is a cool sticker Look yeah it looks like the makita look it reminds me of the milwaukee like tool logo that's sick um i yeah. ground the beans that's nice <clears throat> for drip coffee uh so enjoy thanks for the endless entertainment and hashtag pleasures love the pps that's a deep cut I, yeah all my personal channel youtube videos when you would put tags i always hashtag pleasures at the yeah, end Yeah, you did every youtube video on my account even to that this is, day that yeah. is a there's a tag because you can't even see tags anymore you can't look there's, at there's ways for people like dig oh really out. yeah but i i'm so i've, I've never John, understood how but you've been watching for a long time and thank you so much i really appreciate this, this is something we're gonna that drink this out the studio every day we're gonna use. drink this so thank um, you very much yeah this is fucking awesome i can't wait it i can't wait to try it i should say phase in that columbia decaf and some french roast all right well, every, is, oh yes. Uh, I just want to say these cards are awesome. These uh, decision ninety two. Yeah, you got a card just for uh, Middle East. Okay, 
This, okay, that's a rare one, I think. That, Middle East. Yeah. Uh, vice presidential choice. They're all uh, signs for Bernson. They want Bernson to win. Bernson. As VP. Bernson. That's a cool card. And the best one, politicians and privacy. And it, uh, it's just a newspaper headline, Clinton battles new sex charges. <laughs> New, they're new, new sex charges. Not the old, not the not this old stuff. <laughs> new ones. Anyway, hey everyone, happy Easter! Thank you so yeah. much for watching. As always, uh, sub to our Patreon if you want. We have more podcasts there. Yeah, we uh, we also it's the end of the month, so I'm sure Amazon's gonna unsub you. So sub yourself back up on Twitch. That's and, right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know if there's anything else I'm missing. No. Uh, yeah, thanks. pick up our farewell tour mm. Blu-ray April fifth. And check out Doug Huggum. And come back tomorrow here. Doug Huggum. Yes. Yeah, Doug Huggum tomorrow. Totally. Pl it'll be playable. And uh, like I said, um, there'll be some official merchandise for that if you want to support the game. And uh, But either way, come play it. And uh, yeah, this is a big week for us. So Tell we're us very excited. Think. All right, everyone. Hey, we love you. And happy Easter. <laughs> Johnny, you're neutral. You know, you're not. I don't think you're into this whole Easter deal. So give your give like a neutral take on what he just did. Um, Honest take. Everyone have a nice Sunday evening. Good night. Wow. That was beautiful. That's it, huh? Beautiful.